Hi guys, uh, another quick foundation revision. So we'll start with question one, three and two thirds plus three and a half. So you've got to make the denominators the same with this question. So first of all, we'll take it out of the mixed number. And remember we do this by we times, three times three is nine, and then we add the numerator. So we times the denominator, and then we add the numerator. So in this case, three times three is nine plus the two is 11. So we now have 11 over three. Remember the denominators do not change. Same again, two times three is six plus the one is seven, seven over two. So now it's out of the mixed number, we can start solving it and we need to get the denominators the same. And to do that, all we're gonna do is times out our opposite side. So we're gonna do 11 times two, and we're gonna do seven times three. So 11 times two is 22. And seven times three is 21. And then we're just gonna so solve the denominators. Three times two is six. So now both our denominators are the same and we can solve the question. So 22 plus 21 is 43, 43 all over six. Now, if the question asks you to put it back into a mixed number, you just do how many times does six go into 46? Well, it goes seven times and we have one left over. That's 43, sorry. And we've got one left over. So that would be the answer in a mixed number. So we have 43 over six and seven and one over six as a mix. Number two, it's a, a subtraction. Once again, we have to get the denominators the same. So we're gonna do exactly the same. So we're gonna do one times two is two plus the one is three. So that's three over two. Subtract one times three is three plus the one is four. So now I'm going to times three times three and then I'm gonna times four times two. So it's in the diagonal. So now we've got a nine over six because I've times two times three as well, sorry, to make the denominators the same. Subtract eight. So it's eight over six. Now we can solve it. Nine minus eight is one, one over six. Next one, cubed 27. So you don't need a calculator for this because all you're looking for is to find out what number times by three, three times will give you 27. So I'll just show you a little example. One times one times one is not three. 27, sorry. So the next one, let's try two. Two times two times two, well that equals eight. So it doesn't equal 27. So the next one, we're gonna do three times three times three. Now that equals 27. So the answer to this question is three, because three is our number. That's me showing you how to do it, but it's try and remember that off the top of your head if you can. Number four, we have a indices question. So can you remember what we do when our times and our powers are put in the same question? So when we times in the question, we're gonna add the powers. So this simply is two and two plus six. So our answer is two to the power of eight. Look back at your powers if you find that difficult. So we have three over 13 and three over five. Once again, it's a power question indices. And if you remember when we the question is divide, 
we subtract the powers. So this is going to be 3 and it's going to be 13 minus 5. So our answer is 3 to the power of 8. Next one, the highest common factor of 30 and 18. So the highest common factors, write down the factors of each number. So we know, let's go with 30. One goes into 30, two goes into 30, three does, four doesn't, five goes in, six goes in, 10 goes into 30, 15 goes into 30, and then 30 goes into 30. Right, let's do 18. One goes in, two goes in, three goes in, five does not, six does, because six times three is 18. Nine goes in twice, and then we have 18. So now we're looking for the highest common factor, and our highest common factor of this question is going to be six. So that's our highest common factor. So the next question, we're asked to find the lowest common multiple. And we've got three numbers to do, 24, 36 and 90. So I'm going to do a prime factor tree for all three. So I've got 24. So I've done two times 12. And two times six, and then two times three. Put that all together. So I've got two to the power of three, because that's one, two, three, times one, three. So the next one is 36. I'm going to do two times 18. Then I'm going to do two times nine. And then I'm going to do 3 times 3. So now I've got 1, 2 twos times 3 to the power of 2. And then finally I'm going to do 90. 2 times 45. Remember, it doesn't have to be these numbers. It's whatever works. And then I'm going to do 5 times 9 is 45. And then I'm going to do 3 times 3. So this one, I have one, two, two lots of three, so that's three squared times five. Okay, so I've got all my numbers. So when you're looking for the lowest common multiple, you are then looking for the highest power of each prime that appears. So I've got two to the power of three here. I've got three to the power of two here. And then my biggest here is five. Imagine there's a one there if that helps. So now we just got to multiply them all out. And that comes to 360. So our lowest common multiple of those three numbers is 360. Yes, you haven't got a calculator. So all you're going to do is 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 3 to the power of 2 is 9. And 5 on its own. And then you can just break it all down and do long multiplication or just know your times table. Okay? Hope this helps. Bye-bye.